shop. Hope you're having a great day. All right, I just have this bad boy because it looks, well, badass. <laughs> it's been a long time and uh, someone asked me, man, what am I trying to do there? Someone asked me how to do a recurve compound and I went on YouTube looking for a video. Man, and it's been years since I've done them. So I figured I'd take you guys along and uh, come back out of retirement just to do these. Now, I'm not gonna do a whole series. I'm just gonna grind these bevels and show you how to do it. In fact, I wanna bring back some old school stuff. I was watching old videos, so uh, are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> yeah, man. Like I said, I'm just gonna show you how to do these bevels and uh, I got this one. This one's gonna be mine. This is a compound grind too. I'm using that camera with a messed up screen, so I keep looking up here. See, looking up here <laughs> when I should be looking here. But look, no flipper tabs. Boom. I already did this hollow right here. That's a no flipper. So that's the new design. I got these two. I gotta work on that do have flippers. And uh, I got another one of these with a flat grind. And uh, of course, what we had for the intro, this big old bad boy. These are all ready for heat treat. I just saved the compound grinds for you guys. So uh, let's get to it. Oh, let me show you my tattoo stuff. Man, I've been doing a lot of tattoo stuff. So check this out. Boom. Traditional and they're like stick and poke. You've probably seen this in that last video, which I'll put up in the card where I rant and rave and tell everyone what I think about them and uh, <laughs> why I'm not doing YouTube anymore, but boom, look at that, all blacked out. Well, not blacked out, but it's like a geometric shape that I designed and that I've been blacking out, man. My back, this stuff hurts my back. Look how red it is. That bone right there, whoo, that was lit up. Someone said I should make like a skeleton key hole for here, and then someone else said I should put a coffin there. Both are awesome ideas, but uh, a few other people said, since it's so red, I gotta wait four weeks to go back over it, but yeah, man. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of tattooing. I don't know if you guys have seen the other leg either, but I got that. And uh, the butterfly and the flowers. Yeah, I like butterflies and flowers. So uh, you got something to say about it? <laughs> Dang, to the grinder. So I have this set up. I platin T. I'm gonna start with a platin. But I put his wheel up for TikTok and Instagram. I still post there every day, whether it's tattooing, knife making, whatever, you know, work it out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. Woo! Uh, man, I still got the belly, but it's getting there. Walking three miles every day, still working out three days a week. And anyway, you guys came for the knife making. You know I love to ramble. And if you don't, well, then uh, I don't know where you've been. <laughs> anyway, so I don't buy one inch belts. They sell them, but they're a lot more expensive than buying a two inch belt. Even man, these VSM belts are getting expensive. And I went to look at other belts and man, they're they're way up there. Anyway, I digress. I make my own belt cutter. I made this years ago. It's got like a slit here, a slit here, slit there, you know. It just squeezes the razor blade together and then it's got bolts holding it all together. And then this is all hollowed out and stuff, so I can put it over the bolts and just wham, I don't have to worry about my hand getting all messed up. But anyway, let's put all this away because we're doing the flat platen first. Now if you're doing a big blade like this, you can use a two inch wheel for this compound. But when you want to make them small like this, you need a one inch wheel. So uh, it's up to you how you want to make them. I love this design, it's been a long time. Now I already, Broke the 90s and all that. You know, I did the swedges. Swedges still psyched me out. It took a while to get it and I had to slow down. I had to stop because I, man, it was like psyching me out. 
But uh, I got them done. You know, and what I did for this recurve, not on this belt, but an old belt, and I just hit the edge like that. So you don't have to put a wheel on, but you know, I have done them on the wheels. However you want to break the nut, it's just to get it down to your line. Oh, I didn't even do that side. So here, I'll show you that. <laughs> Let me go get an old belt. Look how old this belt is. No. <laughs> I think it's about seeing his last day after this. All right, here we go. belt back on i'm gonna do my knife first we're just gonna hit it bring it in let me make a mark on here where i can stop it's been a while since i've done them especially on camera and you know when i'm gonna mess up it's gonna be on camera <laughs> i guess i better tell you what we're doing huh <laughs> what i'm gonna do see how I made this line on both sides? So I know that's where I can stop. Boom. I don't have to hang the belt over because this isn't gonna be swooped. We're gonna cut it straight in. So I'm just gonna bring it. And with this, it's such a small part, I'm gonna bring it out. Now, if you want to, you can bring it like that and bring it down, you know. It doesn't matter. In fact, what I would do is start here. And as you're coming, you know, you're gonna push up into your line. So that brings this down to your line. And then you're gonna use your thumbs. I always tell this in my videos, no matter what you use, a plat and a wheel, anything. Here's your line. Your thumbs go right on that line and not over it. If you pull back, you're gonna full flat. You know, if you go over those lines, you're gonna come past the line. Use that line as your guide. And you know, I'm just gonna come in, line that straight up and pull out. Boom. And slowly go down and then Put pressure here on that line, not pull back. And then get used to it and get used to it. If you gotta go slower and slower, it's better than just burning over it and crushing everything. All right. Just like that. All right, let's do these uh, these ones. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna draw my line on these. Straight down. 
I mean, we got that point over here, but we're just... Stop there. Hopefully. It's been a while since it... The sweat just keep psyching me out. Wonder how many times I'm gonna say that in this video. <laughs> they psyched me out when I did them, now they psyched me out when I look at them. And Man, I started buying a bunch of new shirts. And this one, this one's a new shirt, but it's got epoxy on there. So I'm not, any shirt with any little thing on it becomes a shop shirt. And all my other shirts don't get worn in the shop. <laughs> Good Lord. I don't know how many years it took me to figure that out. <laughs> I guess I just started caring about what I'm wearing and looking like these days. one I followed that line like that I don't like it I'm following this this line I'm making a 90 degree angle now the thing is you can see I already went up too much here so I'm lifting the blade up and just putting pressure here because I got to bring this down and over to here and up but I don't want to touch this anymore so I'm lifting this off when I get it even, I'll just pull it through. Like I said, it's gonna take me a minute to get my bearings to do this, so. But actually, that compound's gonna come into here anyway, so I don't have to go up anymore here. <laughs> I'm trying to remember all these things. much better but let's see how they look when we put the wheels on all right so i just did this side for tiktok and instagram and all that now the thing i told them and i'll tell you the same thing when you cut the belt usually there's one good edge and then one where you cut it this one doesn't seem to have it, it seems to be doing all right on both sides uh but just be careful what I like to do, oh, here's the cut side, so you can see it's a little afraid. Just test it out and go, but it's the same thing like everything else. Put your thumbs right where the line is and go. Now on this, I'll swerve it back and forth like that, just to get that in and out. And then I'll hang the belt over and move the belt back and forth. And if I see it cut in a different way, I'll flip the belt. Let me do this side, then we'll, uh, do all the other ones. <laughs> yeah, man. That's one thing. When you're cutting in your swooping plunges and you come over, you're only gonna be able to go so far because you're cutting the belt. You know, you don't want to, you don't want this end to cut into here. So you're gonna cut about halfway and then you'll move the belt over and cut the rest in. And if it's a real jagged mess up, you might want to flip the belt over. Boom, halfway, move the belt over, and then come that way you can get it to swoop out.
flip the belt. That way my grinds look even. I like to flip the belt a lot. Just that way I know my swooping plunges will come in the same on both sides. Hopefully it turns out okay. <laughs> we got that far, so there's that middle part in there, but that's all right. So I fixed that, there's a line in the middle if you go back and watch, it might not even show up. But I think, I realized when the belt's hanging over, I can start here and just cut all the way through and it comes out. Just gotta kinda be careful. It's best to, you know, hang the belt over here, cut this in, hang the belt over here, and cut this in, that way you have the swoops. But to get that middle part out, you can just pull it all the way over. You have to kind of mess with it yourself. It's a, uh, yeah, it's just something you'll have to kind of learn technique wise. If I, yeah, what I'm saying might not work and you'll, you know, blame me for messing up. So you just gotta keep going, keep trying, experiment a little, throw a few knives away when you mess them up. And the only difference now is these grinds go like that and these grinds go like that. No big difference, really. It's just how you prefer to hold it. All right, let's finish that last one out. I'm gonna use the other side of that belt. <laughs> I get, this one's getting hot. That's how you do a belt to wear it now. All of a sudden your fingers are woo, on fire. Just notice my wheel is. Look at that. <laughs> that better tighten that up. I thought something was acting kind of weird. Now watch is gonna mess me all up. <laughs> I'm glad it didn't spin out. Good. Lord. for this video i hope you guys like it i don't know when i'll see you guys again i might do a hollow grind video i don't know i don't know let me know in the comments i stopped doing videos and i really have i've missed it a little bit like i loved editing last night and this morning it takes a lot of time and uh you guys don't seem to like the videos so why make them <laughs> all right that's about it I'll put that video up on why I quit knife making and all that stuff. And uh, other than that, yeah, I would say like and subscribe, but don't, doesn't matter to me. <laughs> yeah, man, when you stop caring, it just don't matter. <laughs> all right, I'm calling it. That's about it. I hope you guys learned something.
Take it easy.